Right, g'day folks, welcome back to Survival Fountain of Youth, where in the last episode we went and climbed up that mountain over there. Uh, in the background I have done many trips up and down that mountain. There's basically, there's a pathway kind of up there, it swings off to the left, you go through the pass there, you come back all the way up here, and about there there's a, uh, a clay pit where we can pick up some of the resources. There's branches and things that were down here, flexible branches that I picked up down there, uh, amongst other things. Uh, I also went to the water source over there, where I could pick up some more clay, uh, and I have lots and lots of materials. I spent quite a lot of time. I even went and removed some of the trees around here so that I've got logs that are... Uh, split up into building things and we'll expand this base very very soon but for this particular time at the moment i have all the special artifacts that i want to go and have a look at we've done everything down the bottom right here we've had a look at it all this interesting site these chronicles these have all been done in the previous episodes so feel free to go and check them out even this one down the bottom we haven't done the special objects here so there's a few things that i need to do here there's also some boars that i want to kill uh, as that will basically maybe unlock some recipes that I don't have and I haven't actually killed a chicken yet so I'm going to kill one of those to see if it actually provides something new and then yeah uh, we've got a little bit of mapping to do up the top in there so we just make sure okay we've got two of the mapping charcoals I think I might grab a second rock I've actually been throwing out some of these cutters as they're uh I've been using them quite a lot and I found that it's quite useful just to carry two rocks on me at any given time just in case that I don't find uh, like a rock pile or something like that that I can actually utilize. Uh, let's just check the day. Okay, we're halfway through the day. So halfway is fine. Okay, we'll do the stuff in the middle here uh, as a first port of call. And we'll go from there. And I've got half water. Actually, yeah, half water is fine. Although I've got a flask on me. Hoping, hopefully, it'll start raining and uh, we'll be able to fill these things up again. As I've utilized them all. Okay, here it is. I've been using the bow and arrow a little bit, but I'm not very proficient at it at this point in time. And unfortunately, I need to get better equipment because I need to be able to kill the peccary in one shot. Hey, body shots. Okay, let's grab our arrow interaction we're only going to get bones and meat okay well that's that's actually not useful at all and we're going to leave that there to rot oh actually there's some hibiscus um i kind of need that i'm running low on that one we'll grab it in a bit it's more important to do the task at hand as uh if you don't complete your tasks you're running out of time because every time you interact with an object, it's wasting so much time. There's been a few updates by the uh, developers, which has been nice. And they have changed a few bits and pieces. We're good. We're good. No pigs attacking us now. We're up here. It's all nice and clear. Looks good. Nothing fancy, though. Okay, we've got a few. Oh, okay, right. So here's the uh, Monument of the Bull. And so when I was up on the mountain, so we're actually up here on this rather large mountain, and we should actually be able to get a visual on it. Yeah, there it is there. Um, because up there it actually had the pointers towards each of the different monuments relating to the different uh, places. And they actually got it wrong, which is rather annoying, because um, when we go to their journal, uh, we want to look at the observatory stuff. Oh yeah, this is actually the exact one, right? So we're over here on the right hand side uh maybe we're not but this is the um yeah okay yeah no that's about right so we're either here at the snake one or we're here at the bird one and this one over here is saying it's a fish one but we're at the bull one which uh, doesn't make any sense and that one over there was actually a snake one so I'm not quite sure what's going on with the various different uh, icons going on here because um, this is definitely the one relating to the uh, bull. Oh, another obsidian shard. Very good. Ancient artifact. Interact. Gives us another snake potion. Well, we've already got one of those. I'm not particularly worried about that. And the Book of St. Albans. All right, it's actually an item in our inventory which we can read. Ten hours to read. Oh my goodness. But it's uh, ancient fishing techniques apparently. 
Oh, okay. Well, it's, it's nice, but I'm not reading that now. It's like I'm going to read it at the start of the day, and it's going to take all day to do. Where's the dead Spaniard going to be? Probably more that way. Oh, hello. Pig is down. Hurt me a little bit. Didn't give me any injuries, which was good. Um, however, that's a lot. That's two hours and 30 minutes. That's going to take up nearly the rest of the day. Um, okay, so we're just to the side of the liana there. We're going to want to get through. I may need to just come back the next day here. Fully keep expecting to run across snakes and stuff. Aha! This! I remember this. This is the uh, dead Spaniard's spot. Has that got anything good in it? Sticks. Why isn't that a hollow log as a, a resource to grab? Yeah. Drop. And carry uh, boxes around. Which I don't really care for. Liana rope sounds very good. Don't want an old barrel. Yellow leaves is pretty good. Can we grab the lantern? Lantern would be nice. Pile of scrap, berry compote recipe. Ooh, nice. Uh, berries, I've, I've found fajoas, I think is uh, the item. Pile of scrap, mountain trail map. Okay, mountain trail, da 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 that, I've already done all that. But didn't, I was, I found, <laughs> I guess there's a chance that you might find the Spaniard space place first and it will give you the uh, idea that there's a cave up there with the um, the thing at the top of the mountain but uh, I found the Spaniards map up there at the top of the mountain uh, which sends you back here so they're obviously uh, a bi-directional thing for the game uh, that's all very interesting it must be our dead Spaniard uh, yeah, narrow leaves is always good Banded cab tablet Ah, we declare the island for the Spanish crown. Two weeks ago, the captain ordered us here. Uh, we have stocked up and we're leaving this cursed place. Oh, the island turned out to be a living hell. Okay, I found it a living hell. I mean, it's got some rough aspects to it. Uh, someone died of a snake bite. Someone went into the forest for mushrooms and never returned. And someone crushed by a stone in the mountain cave. Okay, well, that's the place where uh, he obviously had the pointing back to the Spaniard camp. Anyway, um, I guess that means we're done. This is our interesting site done. There's one more down here which is guarded by another pig. There's the item, huh? Oh, I didn't get that other arrow that I shot. Huh. Um, we'll ignore this for the moment. We're going to go back that way and see if we can find our missing arrow. We'll sleep for the night. Uh, although, if this is an interesting spot, we'll just be careful of snakes in the dark. Spaniard map. Well, that, that's where we are. That's a bit silly to have that there. Okay, letters from... Or letter to Lucius. Uh, there we are. There unleaks athlete's effect. Yeah. Uh, oh, mold. Here, yeah, we'll grab that. Why not? I haven't seen mold before. Is that a new item? It didn't come up with a recipe. Uh, mold. Parameters: chance to cure. 
one rank chance to cure, chance to cure, chance, lots of chances to cure. Water minus 30 and a small health regen. So, yeah, right. That's really good. Wow. You would think that uh, mold wouldn't be good for you. Uh, there is going to be another boar this way, which is um, probably dangerous for me to go through this way. All right, we're sprinting. Uh, we're going to go up here and we're going to try and find the tree. I think that's the tree just there. And that should probably give us the mapping that we're looking for. No snakes. Very good. There's something over there. Did I already visit that? Yeah, I did. That was that one there. Okay. Alright. It's a pretty good view up here. Almost feel like there's something there. It's not really that crazy. There's a walkway up there, so I could use that point for mapping. Uh, that's the start point. Anyway, we should probably map this out anyway. Uh, it's going to take another three hours to get this done. So be it. There's a uh, something there, something here, something there. Oh, and something over there. Living water. Over we go. Okay. What have we got? Book of the Hunt. It's going to learn something. Shooting effects. Very good. Oh, okay, so this is the guy that got had a rock fall on him. Okay, there's nothing interesting. Nothing interesting. There's jackals. Point of interest, point of interest. Yeah, I can hear you. Come on. Come and get me. Gotcha. Ooh, I don't have a shackle trophy yet. Oh, hello. Jaguar potion. A long way off, getting cranky at me. Can we, like... Oh, there's a boat. Yeah, tree bark, why not? There's, like, a raft here. Can't harvest anything over here, which is unfortunate. Long handle. I haven't made one of them yet. So I'd use that for making like uh, ac not axes. Um, the next stage of things. Shush, you cranky little thing. Okay, so that point of interest is done. There's one over there. Coconut palm. I don't care about them. That's the beach line. Okay, that's good to know. I think that's the beach line anyway. So there's a little bit across here that I probably need to do. Not much though. Uh, how are we for time? Terrible. Now right, let's get the point of interest sorted first then. Yeah, we'll have a coconut, why not? Scrap pile with a shovel would give us coal. Sure, we'll have the bone arrows. Oh, nice. Yeah, nice. Always nice to have more uh, offensive capabilities. Don't care about the cold so much now. Ancient drawing. The Song of Wrath to Mortals. Uh, so this one's actually prior to the punishment of the gifted, which probably means something to do with how they were actually killing off the gifted, or at least the long lived. Uh, it was not long before the mortals realized who poisoned the wells. The hatred of the immortals blazed more than ever. Yeah. So basically, um, the, the people who didn't have... The uh, Fountain of Youth being jealous and killing off the ones who did have it. Well, let's zoom out, have a look. We've done all of the Chronicles, which is great. We have three of five of the native maps. So we've still got two of the natives map to do. We've still got two interesting sites and two sets of tools to discover. So we certainly haven't done it all. We should probably actually check over here just in case there's a, a bit of the map lying around. Oh, yeah, there it is. Boom. Okay. So, um, really. Oh, hang on. There's living water over there. Oh, that's right. There was a water source over there. And that's the other monument that we haven't actually looked at yet. 
Ancient observatory buildings. Sure. Okay, and this one is... It seems like it's probably a tiger rather than a jackal. Ooh, there's some kind of fruit there. What is this? Oranges? Oh. Nice. That'd be nice and tasty. Extra orange harvested. Obviously there's a skill there that's coming into play. Now yeah, there was a water source down here which had uh, mold and everything. Ah, oh, back to base. Alright, we're back to base for the night. We're coming back. We've got to get that water. Place a jackal. There we go. So we've got the... Uh, What's that? That's the harpy, the peccary, the boar, and now a jackal. Slowly filling up the wall with trophies. Whew. Uh, take. Just take it all. As much water as I can get. Oh my goodness. Okay. They're full. They're good. Alright, let's check this place out. I think, yeah, this is the place where I killed a jackal. So we grab this mold, because apparently it's just super useful. And algae ointment recipe. Huh. Very good. Algae ointment recipe. Crushed sage? No. Algae ointment. Okay, so it's the chance to get it. So I've now got to find the right ingredients. Uh, so we've got hydrilla. And Gracilaria. So found in underwater caves. Found near underwater caves. Uh, I haven't actually been exploring the beach to see if I can find any underwater caves. Sure. Uh, mapping. Alright, we're at 186, which is terrible. But it will take two hours. It won't be quite night time. Gosh, I'm already night time. Of course it is. Let's do it. We now have a normal wound. Stone pile, nothing of interest. Okay, we're going back. I should have a bandage that I can use for that. Uh, at this stage, I think I've done most of what's going on. There's a little bit of stuff up here that doesn't seem to have actually come out as mapped. Uh, so we're going to go for a walk along the beach and see what we can discover. Well, let's swim all the way around the other side, but... Uh... Okay, there's the start point. So just beyond this stone area here is where we first started. I just want to quickly just duck down here before heading back inland. I swam all the way around there and I didn't see that. That's weird. Okay. Yeah. That's a darker mine than usual. Is this an obsidian mine? Obsidian deposit. Oh man, I so wanted to find this. I've been looking for this for ages. Oh, I need to map this spot pronto so I know that it's here. Hmm, that will do. It's night time. Oof. Dawn of a new day and we're all the way out here. Okay, so we kind of want to go probably yeah, that way a bit. Find a really high point. It'd be lovely if I could get on top of that rock. Uh, if I could do that, I could map out this last little bit. And I think I just spied something beautiful again. Oh, that's another obsidian deposit. It's actually pretty good, if you ask me. 95, yeah, that's good enough. Boom. Oh, oh there's more obsidian there than I even knew. Okay, looks like there's one corner of the map down there that I haven't done still. Don't care about that corner, that's fine. Okay, so that's actually the mountain. Yeah, so that's the original cave. Right, not too bad. Uh, and when we zoomed right in, oh, there's some hydrilla and some... Grassalaria, that was part of my recipes. You can map out into the ocean. Oh, that's really nice. Might actually have to go and uh, go for a swim and pick some of that stuff up. 
All right, let's check this out. Uh, we're moving down to the last place that I need to map, which is pretty much this bottom corner where the initial grotto was. Uh, but these are some of the first items that I cut down. And yeah, here you can see there's a single leaf that has respawned. And so I don't know whether it is that a single leaf respawns every 28 days, because that's the uh, current cooldown. Let's just have a look. Ah, uh, no, it says 17, because the initial date was like 28 days. So it's going to respawn one leaf every 28 days. That's, um, I find that a little bit ridiculous. Like it needs to be better than that, basically. All right, you know, that's uh, the way they've programmed it. All right, we're back. Back at the original grotto. We can get up higher from here still. Uh, this is looking pretty good, so we want to go that way now. Yeah, we're on the right side. It's all right. Okay, let's have a look. 78, 320? Yeah, let's just do it. Let's get it done. Oh, very good. Interesting item. We just got our bed, so that's the grotto cave. Very good. There is no more. We are done. Other than, obviously, there was a little bit there that I didn't do. So, when we zoom back out, we've done all the chronicles. That's great. Uh, obviously, we do need to uh, still go and farm up some obsidian. Because I can now upgrade all my gear to obsidian axes, obsidian knives. Oh, it's going to be brilliant having that extra durability that the stone just didn't offer. But we've still got two interesting sites. We've got one native map and two sets of tools. I imagine the tools are going to come from the sunken wreck. The native map may come from this uh, island that it pointed me out to go and visit when we go and build the shipyard. And then the interesting sites is probably uh, between the two of them. Now this is probably, because uh, I'm actually quite high on energy and it's right at the start of the night. This is a, probably a perfect opportunity to do some reading. Okay, that's not terrible. Too dark, I should wait till more. Oh, you have to read during the daytime. Oh, how rotten is that? 16 minutes. I, I wish the building was a lot quicker. Uh, getting up there is going to be fun. I might need to take the uh, wall out. Uh, G to change it. Let's just move it for now. Place. Good. Special mooring must be installed in water. It is better to be attached docks to foundation pierce. Well, yeah. Well, let's place it down like that. Okay, it's a little bit weird. So that's obviously the ladder to get out. Those must be the mooring hooks. Uh, so let's try. We can always move it. The building hammer allows that, right? And so this must be the side where you actually end up with the ship on that side. I actually wonder if it's too high up. And then, yeah, I can obviously get in and out there. Yeah, that's actually all right. Uh, so now we need to build a vessel. How many uh, build kits have I got left? Nine. Oh. Uh, I was going to build my hut that way, and I, I think I've changed my mind. I think I'm going to build out this direction. Okay, we're, uh, I mean, things still look a little bit whoopy, but, um, we've got a bigger space to work with and I can, uh, redistribute everything on the floor into something that looks a bit better. Yeah, we got our jetty. We need a door. But we got our jetty. And we got the rain. Let's get this done. If I want to place one of them, what have I got to do? Can I do that? Can I? Place. Okay, so I can interact with that. That's good. Uh, we have a lot of this, right? Let's see what we can do. Okay, process takes 10 hours. What? What? Gosh, all of this is just the, the micromanagement of time and energy and all the rest of that is it's a little bit over the top in my mind it's six hours to make the rest of the boat i guess i can understand why making a canoe would take so long and that's fine but 
all the other micro management when it's taken into account of the finding of the resources and going a bit further and i mean it with the building right so you place the blueprint down you interact with the blueprint you place the materials and then you then actually make the thing uh, it's a little bit less than the requirements these are actually quite cheap in terms of time because you would think that lashing all these things together uh, should take quite a long time uh, it actually takes less time than picking up cattails and so the timing of everything is just all a little bit whoopy in my uh, mind weight used zero of a hundred well that is great I like that a hundred weight we have to take the helm ready to travel to a new region well I don't want to go to a new region but we can move I'm I don't like how far forward I'm sitting. Like the visibility is just atrocious. Okay, we're, we're off. Yep. <laughs> Alright. Oh, it's weird. I don't... I really don't like that. You're sitting there. And I, I get... I understand why you would sit there uh, in some ways. But you've got the steering mechanism back there. That protected box should be up the front and we should be there that's where we should be sitting using the oar to control the canoe we shouldn't be sitting there it's uh it's that's off i don't like the visibility of it at all i guess it makes sense in some regards um from maybe like a game perspective that it's easier for you to just be there and you you don't have the sail in the way when you're looking at stuff Oh, yeah, it's alright. We'll make better ones later, I'm sure. Okay, I think we'll probably call it there for the episode. As much as I would like to go sailing straight away in this one, I've actually got so much footage from all the exploration already that I reckon there's a whole episode just in all of that. Uh, in the next one, we'll obviously do the sailing. We'll go and visit some of these little small islands, potentially actually go and visit the, the ship wreckage. I'm fully expecting there's going to be a shark, and we've, we've got a harpoon item that we can actually make, which will allow us to swim and fight at the same time. But all that will be for the next time. So make sure if you enjoyed the video, you go ahead and like the video, subscribe if you'd like to see more, and definitely leave me a comment. It works wonders for the YouTube algorithm with the engagement, and I really do appreciate it. So once again, thanks for listening in, and I will catch you in the next one.